Hey, welcome to my video. Um, if you would like to watch a tutorial on how to get the look that I am currently sporting, then please keep watching. Um, you are going to see that there's a lot of talking from my little munchkin, so sorry about that. Um, it was hard to get my words out because someone had a lot to talk about and she was pretty much throwing a tantrum at one point um, because she was tired of being in her seat. So, um, if you would like to see what I did to achieve this makeup look, then please keep watching. And I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so the first thing that I do, um, well, I want to let you guys know, like, kind of, like, where I am in my process. So, I've already put on my foundation and I've done my eyebrows. Um, if you guys want to see how I do my foundation and my eyebrows, just comment below. Um, we do have little Gigi over here, so if you hear noises, then that's just her talking. Um... Yeah, so um, I'm gonna have to rush through this because I don't want Gia to get antsy and start crying. I'm going to give her some of her little favorite banana yogurt treats. So hopefully these hold her over um, until I'm at least done filming the eye portion since that is the portion that's gonna take the most time. First thing that I do before I start my makeup look, sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't, I won't even lie. You know how people say it's like mandatory to use a transition shade? I don't necessarily think that's true. I feel like with makeup, you can do whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. And that's the best part of makeup is that as long as it looks good to you, it doesn't matter who it doesn't look good to. Excuse my hair because my natural hair gets so oily within like one week. So I've had my hair done for literally um, one week and I need to wash it and recurl it, which is fine. So anyway, um, I'm going to take espresso which is the color that usually people use in their eyebrows. It's like just like a brown shade, a muted brown shade. So you don't have to use espresso, but if you just have any, um, oh my God, he may hear. Um, if you just have any brown uh, eyeshadow that doesn't really have a, it's like an ash tone, um, I will use that. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on like a blendy, uh, fluffy blending brush. This is the E40 by Sigma. And I'm just going to use this to kind of like warm up my crease. I don't use a lot of it. I'm just using enough to kind of like warm it up. And something that I think really helps when you're like doing this is to hold your brush at the back of it so that you're not putting too much product anywhere. The closer to the tip that you hold your brush, the harsher your line is going to be. So when you do this, you kind of just want to do like swift, like, you know, swishy little motions and um, go back and forth. So I'm pretty much going to do this until I've deepened up the color um, to my liking. I'm going to go over top of this with something else so it doesn't need to be that prominent but I personally kind of like <laughs> want to see. I remember Gia. What are you talking about? So I personally like to see that little um, gradientness. Whatever, is that a word? Anyway, so I'm just going to keep on I'm going really slowly, adding, 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 adding. To me, like, this is looking kind of, you know, enough. It's it's not to the point where you can see it, but you, I mean, not like, it's not boom, but it's like enough that, like, you can kind of see that little shape that I just created there. Um, and yeah, that's fine. So anyway, so after I do that, I'm going to put my little swilly brush away. Um, and I'm going to get a brush that has, it's a little bit less, um, what's that word I'm looking for? A little bit less fluffy. So I'm going to use the Morphe M441 brush. And this brush is like the tits. So I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to use NARS Galapagos and that is this really pretty shade and I already told you guys that if it's one shadow by NARS that I think you should buy it's going to be this one. It's so popping. You can see the reflex like it's so amazing. Um, I use this one for everything. I use it pretty much in every single makeup look since I got it. So this is like the best and you don't really need anything. I'm literally just like tapping my brush in here. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add this to the outer portion of my eye. Yeah. So I'm just adding this to the outer portion. <laughs> so I just add this to the outer corner of my eye. And the thing is that Gia is talking right now and she sounds like she's throwing a tantrum but she's talking. <laughs> Gia? Oh. Okay. 
Here you go. So I gave her something else to play with. Yeah. Okay, so funny fact, I didn't get dimples until I got fat. So now I have dimples. <laughs> funny, right? Yeah, real funny. Okay, so um, I add Galapagos to the outer corner of my eye and all this is basically doing is just adding more depth. And I really just like that sexiness of having that deeper outer corner. I feel like it opens up your eyes and it gives you more space to kind of like play with. So as you can see, like the Galapagos is really what starts adding the color here. And um, so I just use this, the point of my brush. And again, I'm at the back of it. So I use the point of my brush to basically um, carve out the back of my eye socket. And the way to really do it is just kind of go into that little nook where your eye is and just keep on going back and forth forever. And if it starts getting a little bit out here, that's fine because I have a way that she can fix it. Then I'm just going to take my brush that I had the espresso on and I'm just going to run it back through my crease just to blend out any and everything to make sure there's no like harsh lines and that everything is blending in because since the gold is so bright that if it does look harsh then you're gonna be looking real crappy and that's like me saying it in a nice way because my mom watches my channel hey mom okay so the next thing that i'm going to use is like the star of the show basically huh my god my hair okay so it's this stila eyeshadow yeah you can't see oh here we go hey girl yeah so that's our star her name is comex gold um, and this is a Stila eyeshadow. At first, like, they were so pricey. I was not feeling it. And my friend Bria, I had, like, the little $25 gift card when you're a VIB. And so it basically bought it for me. So my friend, oh, my God. I hate my hair. Okay. Well, right now I do because it's so oily. Anyways, so um, my friend Bria was just like, yeah, try this out. I use it on all my brides, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, okay, well, let me find a color that I like. And so I found this one, and I was just was like, okay, this one's so cute. Let me see. So I'm probably going to go back and get the rest of them. Yeah, that's how bomb these are. So anyway, so it comes in this little packet, and it's the it's the foiled eyeshadow, the little Stila plate, and then the adhesive. So I just take a little bit of the adhesive. So you just take a little out. And you put it on the little plate that they gave you right there see it's right a little bit and then I'm gonna take um like a flat shader brush this is a smudge brush by elf and this is the brush that it worked best for me so I don't know like I buy my brushes from any and everywhere I have expensive brushes and I have cheap brushes and I feel like they all work the same so I never focus on how much what a brush is called or what it's named or whatever if you could find a brush that looks kind of like this then honey you're in business so I just take a little bit of that little adhesive and then I just like take some of this off and see it gets a lot right and then yeah honey Dada. and then I apply it on to my eyelid okay from further experience do not go so don't go too real far up because this stuff gets a little crazy and oh my gosh. Okay, baby. And like every time I talk, she gets so scared. Anyway, so um I would try to get as much as possible on the lower half of the eye and like right where that crease is that we made. But I'm letting you know right now, this stuff gets real crazy. And like the glitter from it is out of this world. Like <laughs> You'll never be able to get it off. I've been trying to get this glitter off like two days with Witch Hazel. It's real out of control. Uh, yeah, so at this point, I'm pretty much done. You can see that I've added the copper onto my eyelid. So now it's pretty much time to go in and blend it into the rest. Because like I said before, this shadow really like, you know, it's doing its own thing. So, and it doesn't really blend in with other products. You have to make it blend. So, um, I took, I went back 
with that same M441 brush and I went back into the crease. I didn't add anything to it at first. The first thing that I want to do is just kind of like blend out anything that will naturally do the work for me. So I just like blended it for a few seconds on both eyes to try to see. So like it looks way better now. This eye looks so choppy and this eye is a little more gradient. So I just went back out and I started blending it and let it blend for me. And the thing that I love the most about this is that it looks so beautiful when it blends with other colors. Like it's so pretty. And like it, it makes like the whole eye metallic, but the color blends into the other colors. And it just, I don't know, I just like it was really beautiful the way that it did that. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much where I'm at at this point. Okay guys, so I don't know how this happened, but I wasn't even recording. But what I did was I basically just like kept taking Galapagos and adding it to the corner of my eye socket. And my biggest tip for this is that you have to go really slow because if you don't, then it's gonna start looking like a black eye. And that's kinda like what you don't. Lady. You just wanna take that and you just wanna define it. You don't necessarily want to um, take away that goldness. You just kinda wanna define what's already there. G is having a ball. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna start cleaning it up as my next step. And I'm gonna take my concealer. I use the Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer, which I have never, I think that if it's gonna be something I'm gonna spend my money on, it's gonna be my face stuff. So typically I will use Gia, Gia, Gia. What's going on here, honey? She's like, and we're both sick. So it's kind of like disgusting. I take my concealer all the way up on the sides of my nose because I feel like it makes my nose look skinnier. And like I said, I'm chubby now. So, um, I take my concealer and I take my little spray bottle. This is my little secret concoction. And it has water and olive oil in it because I have dry skin. And I spray it on my beauty blender and I use that to basically blend out my concealer and my foundation and anything else that I use on my face. I actually have never seen anyone do the things that I do to put my foundation on because I have such dry skin and that's if anyone wants like a tutorial on how I do my foundation like an in-depth tutorial about how I do my foundation and my concealer and stuff let me know so after I'm done doing that I usually always take a setting powder and by usually always I mean like all the time no matter what and the setting powder that I use is the Laura Mercier um, setting powder I think that if you don't have this and you want to try it, do what I did. I bought the travel one and I've been using it for like the past, I don't even know how many months. And it's been lasting me. So I don't think that you should um, spend all your coins to buy that $50 one when you can just buy this little travel one. And you'll be Gucci. So get the travel one and you'll love it and you'll be fine. Um, For me, like I said again, I have really dry skin. So I can't use this powder and like... I, I don't know, I can't like put a lot of it on. Um, so, since I can't do that, I really have to typically just rub it, I mean like brush it along and then keep it moving. Cause otherwise it'll make my skin really dry and then, you yeah, know, I'll be peeling and everything else and I just can't. So anyway, so let's move on to my under eye. Um, so I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna go back in with the Galapagos, which like I said, it's like the best eyeshadow ever. And I'm going to use this on my bottom eye. The biggest thing that I have to say is that when you're doing this, take a little, take a little bit of the Galapagos and connect it to yum, um yum, um yum yum, and take it to the bottom of your eyeshadow so that it doesn't look like it's just some black line on the bottom of your eye, on your eye. Kind of like connect it. So, for this one, I kind of want to blend it a little bit more. Let me go back. Actually, I don't feel like blending it. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to pat it. Oh, great. And it works. I just let my beauty blender kind of like blend it out for me. And 
gonna take my fluffy brush just a little bit and I'm gonna go at the top there. Cause I think that I added a little bit too much color to my brush and then it transferred up there. Anyways. Okay, so I feel like I've been talking for like 45 minutes and it's really getting on my nerves. Anyway, so then I move on to my mascara. I didn't wear any lashes when I wore this, um, but I think that if you were to wear lashes, that I would wear like the Demi Wispies. Okay, so at this point, it's time to move on to highlighting, highlighting our inner corner. So I'm just gonna take whatever little brush I can find. And I take my Becca Illuminator. Becca! And I broke this apart, so I can't even like lift it. Too. Oh! Mama. is talking to me and I don't know about what. Yes, baby. Yes. At this point, it's looking pretty cute. Too cute. So, then I move on to contouring the face. And I'm just going to take... Um, I'm just going to take Sun Power. I think that G is asking me to give her a nap. And I'm going to right after this. Okay, so then I just go like into that natural nook that I have in my face. And I'm gonna carve that out, but I go right above it. So like, I'm not gonna go into it. I'm gonna go right above that nook in my face. The reason why is because I want to basically, I don't wanna create anything new on my face. I kinda just wanna accentuate what's already there. So then I use the rest of it to kinda just go in my hairline. Because I hate when I can see people's like makeup and it's not like seamless, just is like there, I don't know. So. Anyway, so I take this right above and then I just keep on adding until it's dark enough that I like it. I do a different darkness. <coughs> Ooh. I do a different darkness every day. And then of course I hit my neck because because I have a double chin. And Gia just dropped my eyeshadows. I think she broke them all. And they're all back. None of them broke. Which I know how to get, put them back together anyway, but I would have been very upset. I'm not going to lie. So anyways, back to what I was saying. I'm just gonna go ahead and add color as I see fit. So at this point, it's pretty good for me. Like, I like the way it looks like that. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start highlighting. Now the first thing that I do when I'm highlighting is I'm going to use my highlighter first and I use the Becca Opal. The reason why I use that one first is because it's light. And I like my highlights to be light, um, but that's my own personal preference. So I take a little bit on the fan brush and then I'm just gonna hit the top of my cheeks, right underneath my, my eyebrow. I mean, not my eyebrow, just my eyeballs. <laughs> so I'm gonna go right above there. My nose, my cupid's bow, the middle of my forehead, and my chin. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add that to the natural curve of my face. That natural like line here, I'm just adding. So my main focus whenever I do my makeup is I'm never creating anything. I'm always adding to what's already there. I'm never creating anything, I'm adding. So then I'm going to take my Morphe B35, hit up my old um, JLo from the block, gold deposit. And I'm going to basically use that as like a blush, but I'm gonna use it in the place where I used my highlighter. And this is like the tits. I put this everywhere. Like I put it on my chest, I put it under my neck, I put it where my highlighter is because I feel like something about gold deposit on brown people, it just brings out the best in you. Where I don't put it is on my nose and my cupid's bone, everywhere else that I highlight because it's too much. Um, then I'll be looking like a freaking global disco ball. I'm going to go ahead. Now this is my daughter is literally right here. And Gia is making a mess. So I'm gonna take Hysterical, which is like my favorite blush ever. And as you can see, Gia just drew on it. Um, and I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks. I like blush, so I like to see my blush. So I only apply this to my apples. And I let that shine through. My next step to make my glow like popping, 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 is I take, I don't know what it is about Fix Plus, but it kind of like makes your glow pop out more and then it makes your makeup blend in. So I just take it and I hit it on the side, on everywhere in my face that has glow and, yep, G, you get some too, sorry. My makeup starts like blending together, like it looks like it's just a face. 
and not like a face of makeup. So, after I've done this part, I usually take my blend, my beauty blender and I push in whatever is there. And what this will do is not only does it push in my makeup, but it also takes off anything that's like excess. So it really like stops me from looking like a kick fest. Because my biggest goal is like I just want to be glowy and perfect. But like I don't want to be like, you know, too cakey. So then in the event like you ever go to my house and you guys are like, you know, you're like laying down or something on the bed and they have like white pillows. And then you're like, mm, let me lay down. And then your face comes off on their pillow. And it's just like. <laughs> the very last step to this look is going to be to wear your lipstick. I was wearing Ruby Woo with Ruby Woo liner. Right now I can't find my Ruby Woo. So I'm going to have to line my entire lips. So I'll be back when I'm done lining my entire lip. Okay, everyone. So thank you for watching my tutorial. Um, if you have any requests or any looks that you'd like to see, just please comment below and let me know. I did mention in the video that um, if you want to see how I achieve like my foundation look or my um, highlighting and contouring, then let me know if you want to see like an end. Woo! In, in depth on how I do that. Dad. Yes, honey. Hello. Hi. Hello. Mom. Uh, okay, she's like jumping up and down. And it's just uh, Yeah, hi. She's looking at herself and I think that she thinks she's another baby. And she's like, hey, hi, say hi to that little girl. She's so cute. She's so cute. So anyways, um, if you guys have any videos you'd like to see, then please feel free to comment. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Um, and I want to try to have at least two videos up a week. So I know last week I only did one, so this week is my goal to have two. And I hope that I have another one up by like Wednesday or Thursday. I'm going to come up with like a plan of my days that I would like to post. But for me, it's kind of hard because I have a baby. And sometimes things don't go right. <laughs> Please feel free to comment and like this video and subscribe. And if you have anything that you'd like to see, then let me know. Okay, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.